Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here, and I want to invite everyone, if you haven't done it already, please visit marsfam.net and have a look around because that project of ours helps to support this channel and vice versa. This channel works to support that project. The one and only thing that we are selling here is the truth. Day 565 of the rover Curiosity on the planet Mars. This is a good one, folks, and we've looked at this a little bit before, but we've got a lot more on it. Now, let's first take a quick look at this NavCam mosaic to kind of put things into context. Now, this particular NavCam mosaic is really bright, but in the background, you can see the base of Mount Sharp and that area where I still contend there is water running, flowing back there. And in the very back here is another one of those 20-foot tall mounds, hills, whatever you want to call them, that I've said are not natural. Now here on the left is our area of specific interest. Now this isn't going to be a long one, but it's a good one. This is great visual evidence. There's calibrated Martian Missy, and you can see here that the object at this point is about one foot in height. And the length of, it's actually two objects, we measured at 4.6 feet. And here's some of the work we did on the measurement from the analyst notebook. On the left is the profile measurement within sight frame. That's how you do it. Now we've talked before about the difference in the nav cam imagery and the mast cam imagery. Uh, they each have their advantages and disadvantages. But I want everyone to look here and notice that something is wrong. There's much more here than a one foot tall boulder. And here is a mosaic made from right mast cam imagery. What was that arrow pointing at? What do you see? Well, I'll tell you what I see. I see at least two discrete mechanical components. And possibly a third one. I don't know yet if it is attached to the first one. It may be behind it. But those look like small hand valves or dial indicators or possibly cams. Now look at this. Look what is exposed here. Some type of metal. You can tell it's curved and look at the almost zigzag shape that uh, is pretty evident. And that's not all. There's really a lot more to this. In, in fact, look at this area. We have something exposed here. What is that? And what about that area? Okay, now I'm going to throw one of my favorite contrast filters onto here. Because, man, this really brings stuff out. Check it out. Notice you can see the circular points of rotation on these uh, devices. Handles, dials, cams, whatever they are. They are made to rotate. And here is that circular piece of metal with the uh, zigzag design on it. And it's kind of hard to tell because we don't have really good uh, definition on this thing, but I believe that is quite possibly another one of the hand valves or cams, dials, whatever. Notice they're oriented the same. And this one is not. It is oriented in that direction. So here's what's going on. There was a catastrophe and there was fallout. And over time, it is hardened on these objects. Now, artificial parts that are exposed are supposed to be taken care of by the obfuscation software but it makes mistakes and by way of our uh, 3d stereoscopic imagery we've been able to isolate the foreground from the background here just to kind of take a close look along the edge of this thing really it's pretty amazing folks now remember these are two separate objects the 4.6 feet was counting both of the objects all the way across Man, take a look at that. It's pretty small, you know, maybe around an inch in length, but, <laughs> you know, we've just got too much mounting evidence. If you go over to marsfam.net and look in uh, the evidence page, you'll see the evidence that we're collecting, the imagery that is just really, really good. And we've got uh, some images from this that have been added to that. And we also have all of this in uh, stereoscopic 3D for those of you who know how to look at it. If you don't, Learn how. Go to the website, marsfam.net. Now, look at this. 
even without everything else I just showed you, this rectangular thing sticking up from the ground, you know, should be a red flag. Come on. What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with people? Uh, these are just some images where I was working through trying to get some detail out of these things, uh, mainly using brightness and contrast filters. You can really see right here some of the metallic stuff that's shining through. I didn't paint on this. This is this is a contrast filter. Look at this object over here. I mean, what is that? I mean, who knows? There is just so much, folks. The evidence is mounting. So make sure you visit MarsFam.net because this is where we are documenting things, folks. This is where you can send people to say, hey, look, look at this stuff. Look, look what's going on. This is real. And also, I've got a lot of people claiming that they're not getting notified when uh, one of our productions go up. Well, first of all, you need to hit that little bell, and then there's something else you need to hit that says notify me. Some people claim it still doesn't work. Well, you know what? I don't doubt it. We, we do have a lot of trouble with things. We're not really supported like we used to be, channels like this one. So, on marsfam.net, down near the bottom of the main page, if you will simply enter your email address there, we will notify you when a video goes up by email. Now, we'd still like everybody to be subscribed to the channel because this kind of works back and forth. It helps support each other because these things do cost money and we spend our own money on it. So anything like that helps. Now, listen, folks, if you do enter your email address at marsfam.net, those email addresses will not be used for anything else. They're not sold and I will not be using it for anything other than the real Jimmy Roberts one has uploaded a new YouTube video and that'll be it. Okay, look, we'll get to work on another production and we will see you real soon. Later, y'all.